And for the pendulum experiment, we look at how two different parameters, the length and the amplitude, affect the period. The period's affected according to this equation, which you will notice doesn't have the amplitude in it. The pendulum lab consists of some rather simple equipment. Mainly, we have the photo gate, a plumb bob, obviously the string which we can adjust the length of, the stand which we can also adjust the height of in accordance with the string length, a meter stick which we use to measure the pendulum length, and finally, a protractor which we can use to set the amplitude. To perform this experiment, we do this in two parts. The first of which we perform it from varying amplitudes with a fixed length. So to do this, we set our string to some arbitrary length, which is convenient for us. Then we measure it from the very bottom here where the string comes off the boom to the center of the mass roughly. The proper center of mass is about here, not the top of the bottom. Once we have that set, we bring the photo gate in, set it up so that the uh, bob doesn't hit it, but it does block the photo gate sensor. See how it blocks that? We want it roughly in the middle. At this point, we can use the protractor to set amplitudes. I prefer to go in increments of five degrees because it's very difficult to accurately get less than five degrees. So, what we do is we hold the protractor up to the bottom of the boom here in such a way as the bob comes across the 90 degree mark. That's our zero displacement. We set whatever amplitude we wish. In this case, I'm starting off at 15 degrees and release. At this point, we allow the plumb bob to uh, go through several periods while Data Studio records this. For the second part of the experiment, we choose an arbitrary amplitude, preferably about 10 degrees, but possibly 15 if it's more convenient. And we look at what happens as we change the length. So, in this particular case, we have the protractor, which we use on each, each one of the runs. But instead of changing the amplitude, we do set it to 15 degrees. So, to do so, we change it to some arbitrary length, not the same as what we had before. Take a measurement, record it, adjust our photo gate so that it's blocked on every pass, and then again, we perform the same process as before where we hold the protractor up to the bottom or tape it. Start off at some angle, in this case I'm starting off at 15 degrees, and release in such a way as to not push it. There's a right way and a wrong way to perform this experiment, and various ways of doing it wrong will give various strange results. In this particular case, we're showing the correct configuration. This tab is aligned with this. The string is underneath the tab and clamped to the boom. We adjust the string by changing the screw, opening the screw and changing that. We want to keep this part of the string out of the way, so it's best to keep that out that way. Wrong ways, various wrong ways to perform this experiment it basically involve changing the length in the wrong way. If we change it like this, Notice how I'm wrapping it around the screw. This is a, a very incorrect way to do it, as now we don't have a good, uh, a good basis for what the actual length is. And, you know, if we measure from here to here, obviously, or here to here. So, and finally, a very bad way to do this particular experiment. involves the tab being not lined up correctly. As you can see here, the tab is well below the boom. So, what we have here as a function of being shown, for half of the period we have one length. For the other half, we have a different, shorter length. And this will cause results to be strange.